All right, after shot time, maybe on this half you can see a little bit more speckles of oil. <clears throat> so yeah, this looks like it's going to be a pretty tasty pod. Tastes uh, in line with similar uh, colored ones. Just a very bright, sunny, fruity. I guess I can smell the citrus-like hints to it. Nondescript as they might be. So, it's a big pod. Hmm. Got the sweet tang. A little bit of bitterness. Fairly balanced. Heating up on the lip, tongue. Mm. <clears throat> Potpourri like. <laughs> That's so hit on the lips hard. Mm. A good whack of heat in the throat. This one's pretty warm. Ooh. And the top of the tongue is just hmm, already. Throat's quickly blossoming. Man, the lips real it's really hitting hard right there. You can probably see the color change. Yeah, it wasn't super tangy or sweet. Had a little bit of the bitter kind of melding with all of that. Like a bubbly kinda kinda taste. Not quite soap, but that wasn't predominant, but just had a little bit in the aromatics come through with that. Overall, the flavor wasn't bad. It's pretty warm, though. It's uh, lighting my tongue up pretty well now and kind of waving itself back into the throat. Pulsing at a pretty good level here and still building. Eyebrows are sweating. Texture-wise, it was actually pretty meaty. Uh, it wasn't super... I mean, it, despite it being hard, once they started chewing it, it was really meaty. Kind of similar to eggplant texture. Almost aerated, foam-like. It was not quite like that. It wasn't dry. I don't mean to insinuate that it was a dry pod, but just kind of that mouthfeel. Oh, the tongue is really building up. I'd put these ones on the upper end of a habanero, probably 350,000. Maybe 400,000. It's giving me a pretty good wolf here. Pro the pods, Robert goes, he lives in North Carolina, so. Probably a little bit more stressed growing conditions. Down where it's a little bit higher UV index. So they're more likely to reach their peak heat in that kind of climate. As opposed to up, me up here in Michigan. They still get pretty hot up here, but. Um, there's a different quality to this burn. And it could just be this variety, too. I don't know. But man, my eyebrows are damp again. Whew. Quite a bit of drool. A little bit of the flavor remaining. Nice, pleasant. But yeah, this is uh, giving my mouth a good rocking. Especially on the lips, still. Throat's calming down. And it's sharpening into a smaller focus that's a little bit more intense than the overall burn was right up really low in the throat the, yeah the tongue is not calming down yet at all and actually the throat just kicked up a little bit when I swallowed so maybe it's not totally uh, peaked just yet that was a really nice texture that seemed like it would make a good uh, stuffed pepper bread crumbs and cream cheese was maybe some garlic powder and cumin or some chives maybe some sort of sweet dipping sauce maybe yeah they got a super firm texture they seem like they'd hold up well to roasting and um, baking so I'd say it's a bit hotter than the one I tried this morning that green habanero that one was pretty warm though but this is uh, just continuing at this good level here yeah, I, I would I would definitely peg this one around the four hundred thousand Scoville mark. It's 
So if I were going on a 13 point scale, I'd put this one at like six. So just about halfway. This is definitely not a super hot, but it's above a regular habanero, so it's moving up the scale a bit. Man, my eyebrows will not stop dampening up here. Drool still going apace. Throat burn is still crackling in this one little spot right here, way down low. Lips are just not calming down. Kind of moving back on the tongue, so. Yeah. All right, well, I think I'm going to duck out for a few minutes here, come back and let you know how it's calming down, so be back. Okay, we're back 12 minutes later, uh, a little bit longer than I would like, but I got caught up in checking some stuff online. So in any case, uh, yeah, still got a little bit of glow happening on the lips, though, uh, and right in the middle of the tongue. Not really anything else going on, so yeah. Cool. Uh, thank you, Robert, for sending me some cool pods, and that was a pretty nice one. Uh, pretty damn hot, and... Uh, flavor was pretty decent. It wasn't bad, it, but it wasn't the uh, best one that I've had so far. But in any case, they're not all going to be your favorite. So I'll see you guys on the flip side. Thanks for watching. Peace out.